Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we're going to talk a little bit about the dangers of IoT devices. Now, you might have heard the term IoT and wonder what is that. Um, it means Internet of Things, and the Internet of Things is everything that's connected that is any type of device from smart speakers to smart light bulbs to routers to anything, your smartphone, a car, your smart locks, more and more of these devices are connected to the internet. And the idea behind it, it's interesting because, you know, you can control your devices from anywhere. I could, for example, I have some smart bulbs here. I could be, you know, somewhere else and I want the lights to come on and uh, I just, you know, turn them on from a distance and actually am able to do so. And it lets me, you know, gives uh, presence. It, if, if you're not home, at least people have the impression you are because the lights turn on and so on. Uh, and there's all sorts of other things, including the routers and all these devices, the modems. And one of the biggest problems that is actually coming now is the fact that a lot of these devices get abandoned by their manufacturers. Now, not only are a lot of devices not updating by themselves, which is also an issue, but a lot of them are also being abandoned. So, first of all, if you do have, you know, smart speakers, smart bulbs, smart devices in your home of any kind, do go and check out to see if there are updates for your devices. This is important. You know, I talk about how updates are keeping your PC, your Windows PC safe in any PC anyways, um, that's because they actually fix security flaws. And IoT devices also have security flaws. They're connected on the internet. They have an, there's an easy access from the outside world. And of course, using security flaws, this is where the denial of service attacks happen. So what happens is that there's all of these devices that are now vulnerable and the bad guys have found a way to actually get code inside of them and use them as they wish to be uh, devices that attack on the web. So not only do you have to make sure that all of your smart devices are up to date, but you got to understand that after updates have ended and that manufacturers stop actually issuing updates, uh, these devices, it's, it's really sad, but people won't do this because you paid hard cash for it and it still works, but these devices become vulnerable as time goes by and probably have security flaws that could be exploited. And we hear that all the time, that devices are used against you know, big corporations. You might have seen an increase in um, you know, hackers attacking websites and government services. And what they actually are doing here is that they're using all of those IoT devices and that makes millions and millions and millions of devices that can go and ask to, um, you know, access a website at the same time, which, of course, brings down the site because it's not meant to be um, accessed by so much traffic. Um, so this is a big, big issue, and I think there will need to be important regulations because this is going to become a free-for-all. If the devices are not updated anymore, then they become vulnerable, and that means two things. Either you have to find a way to shut them down, or which will, of course, render a lot of people mad, or um, you know, people have to change them. And that's the problem here, is that it, it's totally understandable that you paid for a device that works. If it doesn't get any updates, um, then the problem is, um, you know, what, what do you do? And that's why I think manufacturers need to be, um, you know, they have to give a minimum of um, a, a certain number of years of updates. And they have to. You know, if you get a device out, even if it just costs $10 or $5, if you put a device out that's a smart device, you have to be behind it and update it for security for, you know, five years at least. Um, it's it's a really important, and this is going to be a big problem as we go into the future. Do you have smart devices? This is a question today. If you want to answer below, do you have anything that's a smart device, an IoT device? 
So IoT devices, one, once again, are, um, it could be, you know, wireless um, uh, Bluetooth devices like, you know, ear- earbuds and so on, um, smartphones, a smart car, smart locks, smart bulbs or lighting systems in your home, your router, and so on. What do you use? And are you taking the time to make sure that it's up to date to the latest version? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.